Woo! Woo! I didn't know whether to do the double thing or not. Do you? Do, you didn't. Oh, it's do... very continental, isn't it? The two yes. kisses. But I you don't do that. One. It's a bit French. Yeah, it's. Uh, I thought it was English too. No, it's just oh, French. I've been getting it wrong. Uh, <laughs> I've been going the American way. No, well, you're, whatever you're doing is Your fine. Your audience are amazing. They're lovely, they are aren't so they? Funny. <laughs> I love it. So up for it. Aren't they like that yeah. in England? In, in the UK, our audiences are very sort of proper. Like you come out and there's no dancing or hollering. It's just like a hundred people staring at you as if to say, "Come on, make us laugh, monkey boy." <laughs> They, they love you. And this is your very first American talk show, yeah. so I'm so happy that you chose oh. And have you been to Los Angeles before? Is this your first time? This is my first ever time in Los Angeles, yeah. And how do you like Los Angeles? Oh, it's amazing. It's fantastic. Yeah. It is good. I, uh, I was quite lucky. I was quite lucky to get over here, because I, I got my plane over. I'm quite a nervous flyer. And we were there at Heathrow for like an hour and a half on the plane and nothing had happened. I was getting quite scared. And then the PA system came on and it was the pilot. And he said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please do not be alarmed, uh, which makes me very alarmed when someone sure. says do not be alarmed on a plane. And he said, we've encountered some minor technical difficulties, but do not worry, in a couple of moments, the cabin will go quiet as we kill the engine before we then reboot it again and we should be off in a jiffy. It's like, right, I'm on a little metal cage that's about to travel through the air at hundreds of miles per hour, and the way you plan on fixing the current problem is by switching it off and switching it back on again. <laughs> it's like, it's a plane, not a PlayStation. Make uh, something up. <laughs> so I'm, I was very scared, but I'm, I'm here now. I'm glad you're here. Oh. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> No, not it's at all. Terrifying. Well, I'm not a good flyer either, so I, I understand what that's like. Yeah. And but and you like Los Angeles? It's a, it's everybody's friendly here. I mean, I think most people are really very friendly audiences uh, for the yeah. most part, especially that, that woman right there. there she, she can't <laughs> wait to show you. She's lovely. It's, it's quite weird though for someone from Britain to see how helpful everyone is here. Like I did some shopping. And you have this amazing thing called customer service, which we don't have in England. You don't? No one in shops, like, having someone be nice to you in a shop is just foreign to me, and I didn't know what to do. Like, I went to buy a phone. In England, I've been into phone shops. I've been ignored for days. They, <laughs> you walk in, no one's making eye contact with you. There's, like, a skeleton at the counter where some guy's tried to do an upgrade without his wife to help him. <laughs> no one pays attention. And I come to America, I went to the Apple store. Before I even had my foot in the door, there was some guy, Hey, buddy, how are you? How's your day been? <laughs> What brings you to the Apple store? I'm like, I'm here to buy a phone, not make a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> it was too friendly for you. It was really scary. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> now, so, and, and you have been doing stand-up for how long? Um, I started when I was 16. Um, yeah. And, uh, and did you know you wanted to be a stand-up? Well, I, th I think, for, uh, first of all, I wanted to be an actor, but mm. I didn't get into any of the plays at school. Um, mainly because at my school we had someone else there who was in the sort of drama class. Uh, he, you might know him, he's been in some sort of little things. It's called Robert Pattinson. <laughs> you know he was... Some you were in his like him. Yeah, he's popular. He turned out to do okay. He was in your class or just your school? He was at my school. In your and, school. But, so we did plays together. And he always got the main part. Robert Pattinson was always the main part. I was like Villager 8, the guy that had to stand like at the back <laughs> of the stage and do nothing. And, and he was probably better than me. And I try not to be jealous, but it, you know, it's hard. I go and see all of his films. Like I went to see him in the Harry Potter film when he was in that. I saw it like four times. And every time I was the only guy in the cinema laughing when his character died. <laughs> But I'm really happy for him. Good, you're really happy. Not bitter at all. <laughs> well, see, it turned out for you. It worked out well because I think you're very funny, and oh, not that you wouldn't you. be a good actor. And there's always time to do that again. Yeah. Like you, you first you're a stand-up, and then you can act yeah, later. Yeah, move into that. Let's absolutely. see if he can become a stand-up. See, he can't do it backwards, yeah, can he? Yeah. Let's see him try and let's, do that. Yeah. And yeah. I'll go and laugh at that. Well, I, no, I won't laugh at that. I'll just no, sit yeah, there. You'd not yeah, laugh come at on. it. Yeah. Come on, monkey boy. That's right. <laughs> I think that's I'll just do the surprise puppy face throughout all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. All right, if you want to know more about Jack, go to our website, and I'm going to have him on uh, more times than I've ever had Robert oh, Pattinson. Thank you I'm so going to have much. him on.